It asks what assumptions we bring to the work of Noria Mabasa and what questions the extent to which, it also questions to what extent to which our knowledge is informed by things that have little to do with the artist. Well, that's renowned artwork of sculptor Noria Mabasa's latest exhibition and it's titled Noria Mabasa Shaping Dreams and it's opening at the Narox Sculpture Park today. The exhibition provides fresh insight into the artist's practice as told through her particular lens. Now, to tell us more, we're joined on Zoom by Tepiso Motlala. She's the curator of that exhibition. Tepiso, a very good morning to you. Well, welcome to Morning Live. I mean, on our graphics at the moment, we've got Menoria Mabasa. For somebody who may not know, who is this woman? So, Mama Noria Mabasa, um, just to correct you, I'm not the curator mm -hmm. of the exhibition, but I am the founder of Mawubu African Contemporary Art. Okay. And uh the curator of the exhibition is Ren, mm -hmm. who is um, the residence curator for um, Nairox uh, Sculpture Park. So, coming back to your question, Mama Noria Mabasa, she is our legendary artist. We are celebrating her and her 84th year of being um, a woman in the visual art space who has been carving for over the past 34 years. And um, we are celebrating her legacy, we are celebrating her heritage today. And this is a culmination of um, the exhibition that the residency that she started with us uh, at Nairobi's um, foundation, at Nairobi's residency in May, uh -huh. when we're celebrating Africa Month. Yeah. So today yeah. She's, we are celebrating her new works and her collection from, um, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I want to talk about uh, this body of work. It's titled uh, Noria Mabasa Shaping Dreams. Um, what's the inspiration behind this body of work? So Mama Noria's career started um, in 1972 where she really um, was inspired by her ancestors um, and her work is inspired by um, what she's led to, to, to craft. And um, that's what we are doing now um, with Shaping Dreams. It's actually, it's, it's inspired by her dreams. Uh -huh. The work is inspired by her dreams, yeah. And speaking about, you know, that exhibition, there's, it, it asks a lot of questions about, you know, how we see her work or how she also sees her own work. What is the theme or subject uh, does she touch on in this body of work? So... You know, when you look at Mama Noria's Mambasa, it's about her journey, it's about her life, it's about um, what she has gone through, through her career, you know, as a mother. And, um, you know, when she t told us a story um, during her residency, she spoke about how it was so difficult for her to, to tell or to communicate to her family that she's got this gift. Uh -huh. And she kept on getting um, inspiration from her father, her late father, who kept on saying, you've got a gift in your hands and you need to use it so that you can feed your family. And then in the 70s, when you would say, I want to craft or be in the visual art space, I think people would think, what's going on? But she continued to, to craft regardless. And that's how she started her career. Yeah. And I mean, you touched a little bit on this right at the beginning that, you know, the major uh, source of her gift is the messages um, that she receives or dreams or instructions that she receives from her ancestors. Are we seeing that mm -hmm. clearly in the, this latest exhibition, uh, Shaping Dreams? Of course we are. So we have brought a lot of her collection from uh, 20 years, some 10 years ago, and her latest collection that she um, started um, crafting during her residency till to date. So it's actually going to be a very exciting um, exhibition with um, her old and existing work. Yeah. And you will see um, how it has sort of developed from... Um, her old word to her latest collection. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the use yeah. of different materials that she uses with this exhibition. Yeah. So she uses clay and wood. Mm. But, um, and with clay, she has actually um, 
you know, she, she crafts a lot of um, clay um, work with her, um, and most of it you'll see, it's, it's also mother to child type of work, mm. you know, because the mother, she's a natural, and with wood, I mean, her work is just amazing. It tells a story by itself, and because, um, yeah, she is inspired by her dreams. Mm -hmm. And for somebody who has yeah. not received formal art training, her artwork is something as her carving as well is phenomenal. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Um, and when we, I mean, Mam Naria, like I said, that it is inspired by, um, she doesn't have any background or uh, formal training, but it is an inspired by the, by the dreams that she receives. And then she starts carving according to the, the, the dream or what she's told to, 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 yeah, yeah. to have or... Yeah. Let's talk about the series of workshops that she conducted while she was um, a resident at Narox. Tell us a little bit about that and what uh, the, the workshops were about. Well, wow. so we had um, a very exciting time with Mam Naria in May and it was um, during um, Africa Month. So she, we had students from UJ who started carving with her. So just to show that this is something that is within her, she would she gave students just a piece of wood and she said start carving yeah and from that um you know because they are visual artist uh, students um they started carving and an image come up, came out of those um, sculptures you know so um and for us i think it's important to impart the skill because she does it my, she by hand, you know, she's not using any um, um, like technical material to to do what she does. You know, she she she's just yeah, she's awesome to work with. And yeah. um, like if that you have currently, you can see she she is eighty four and she still has the energy to do what she does. All right. Tell us a little bit about today's activities. What can we look forward to uh, at Narok Sculpture Park because the exhibition is opening today? So we, the exhibition will open at um, uh, 2 p.m. So the reason why we are doing this again, we are launching the Villa Lechodi Sculpture Park at um, Narok. And um, it's a new center to celebrate um, sculpture work from artists around the, uh, South Africa. So, and yeah, so the exhibition will start at two and uh, we will have a walkabout with our curator Sven. And at four, we will have a conversation about her work uh, with Ashraf Jamal and Sven Christian. All right, Sebiso Mutlala, thank you so much for talking to us. Good luck with the exhibition today. Is she going to be there, by the way? No, so we have her granddaughter yeah. and her daughter who will be there today. Unfortunately, because she's not feeling well, mm. um, not going to be able to join us today. But yeah, all right, um, it is be exciting. All right, Tepiso, thank you so much for talking to us. Tepiso Mothala of Auru uh, speaking to us about the uh, uh, the exhibition Noria Mabasa Shaping Dreams, which opens at Narok's Sculpture Park today and runs until the 20th of November. The exhibition consists of 38 pre-existing works in clay, wood and produced between 2004 and 2022. Renowned world artist, she's exactly 84 years old. There she is there on your screen.